deficiency is one of the main deficiencies seen in goats. Some symptoms are off color coat, rough coat, hair turning up at the end, fish tail, off tasting milk, hoof rot, higher susceptibility to both external and internal parasites, and general ill health. Here are some examples of copper deficiency. This is my little buck Briars. He has a very slight fish tail. You can just barely see the thinning of the hairs right there. And he also has a bit of a rough coat. This is Honey. She is a prime example of a doe that has plenty of copper. You can see her coat is sleek and shiny. It's got a nice color to it. It's not rough. And she needs brushing. This is Jenny. She's not too copper deficient, but you can just barely see a red tinge along the black. My black goats will often have a red tinge. The amount of copper your goats need vary with location and with the individual goat. Some areas are more deficient than others. Some breeds require more copper. I have found that my Nigerians need a lot less copper than my Alpines. Darker goats need more copper and white goats need a lot less. Sometimes providing a free choice loose mineral with a high copper content is all that is needed to keep your goats from being copper deficient. Between 1,200 and 1,500 ppm copper is considered to be pretty good. The higher the better. Cattle minerals often have much higher copper content, more like 3,000 ppm. The mineral needs of cattle are very similar to goats, so if you find a good cattle mineral, use it. Oftentimes, loose minerals will not provide all that your goats need. If you find that they are still exhibiting symptoms of copper deficiency, despite giving free choice loose minerals, you might need to start with other supplements. The most common way to supplement copper is giving copper bolus. It's basically just little capsules of copper oxide rods. You can get a bolus gun and administer it that way, or you can break open the pills and put it on anything your goat will eat. You can put it in mashed banana, on the grain, in a treat, on a peanut butter sandwich, basically just whatever your goats like. What I do is I cut the top off a small syringe and pour in the correct amount of copper, cap it off with peanut butter, and give it to the goat that way. This is very easy to do. You just stick the goat between your legs like so, hold their nose up, stick the syringe in, plunge it. I like to hold their heads pointing up and hold their mouth shut and massage their throat a bit to make sure they swallow. There you go. All good.